Hey, it's Mark here, and um, I have my New Orleans shirt. My sister gave me this shirt. Uh, she went to New Orleans, and she decided to give me this. So, um, shout out to my sister, wherever she is in Texas. Well, let's get into it. So, this video will be talking about um, what it is to be black, uh, to be a black civil engineer, and some of the things I've gone through, some of the experiences I've had, and how to. Uh, alleviate some of these mistakes, especially when you're young, so you don't have to go through all the pain I've gone through. So the first thing is coming out of college, um, coming out of college, everything is everything's good. You apply for a couple of jobs. You might not get into the companies you want, but definitely you're gonna get, you're gonna get something out of college. Um, that's how the United States works, at least for me. Any internship I applied to, there was like a 90% chance I, I, I got the internship. So. If you have good grades, your bachelor's degree, you're definitely going to get an internship. Now, I highly recommend, and I can't believe I'm saying this, I highly recommend you get your master's because the thing about being black, you're you're very, very isolated. And meaning, you know, you don't fully fit into the group, but you, you're a human, so you fit into the group. So, for example, um, two people could, a person could walk over to someone else's desk and talk to him for five minutes, and he tells him like two hours worth of information in five minutes. But you read a book, and it takes you two hours to find that exact same information. So, <laughs> you have to be really smart. You have to know where everything is, and that's why getting your master's kind of sets you up for, it sets you up for life better if you're a black guy because you don't have too much help. You really don't have any help. Um, you're, you're, it's mostly all you. But the thing is, civil engineering is something you can actually learn by yourself and do very well. Um, so, um, something to talk about is, <sighs> first, this is my um, my coffee right here. I mean, my um, not coffee, green tea. Um, I've, I've gotten into drinking green tea lately yeah i don't know what's what's up it's pretty freaking good though highly recommend guys drink it's, it's healthy it really hits the spot and um highly recommend it right. so you need to get comfortable with you need to get comfortable with racism or stereotypes or discrimination you need to get comfortable um it's it, it at first i got irritated you know um when i got a lot of racist remarks not too harsh but i think the the, the most harsh racist remarks to me are these most subtle ones not the ones that if you call me a black guy or call me the n-word in front of everyone you know i'll probably just be like cool but if you do something very racist but in a subtle way that just pisses me off. That pisses me off, man. That's why institutional racism really makes me cry some days. Just joking, but it really, really, really hurts me. So you need to um you need to learn how to you need to have a very, very high tolerance. A very, very high tolerance. And you need to be highly educated. So a way to deviate all these racist remarks is to to read a couple of books. And I highly recommend you read this book. First is read 48 Laws of Power. That will really set you up into how to maneuver around as a, an entry level, which is hard because as an entry level black kid, you, turn to you tend to make a lot of mistakes. And as a black guy, you don't get too many chances. You do not get too many chances. One mistake could ruin your reputation. I'll give you an example. So. They told me to go out on the field to let the um, let the workers know um, the, the splicing on on the dowel sticking out of the footing, the splicing, the column rebar and the footing rebar, the splice. So I went out there and I was I was I remembered the number. I was zero point two one inches off. 0 0.21 inches off and I was the only black guy there 
because I was 0.21 inches off, the entire job sites went crazy. They went bonkers. They're like, holy crap, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's a moron, he's dumb. And guess what? It was fixed. It was fixed pretty much the next 10 minutes. Now, let me tell you this. The coworker, my coworker, and my coworkers have made mistakes where the, the actual structure is like 10 feet off, where they had to demolish everything and make a new design. It cost the company like $200,000, but it was fine. No big deal. They just, they just gave her pat, they just said it's fine. Cost coffee like 200, but remember, 0.2 inches off is like, it's like, it's like this. Pretty much you can't make mistakes. And another thing you should expect is, I'm kind of going on a rant here, but you really need to take this video seriously. Another thing you should expect is, don't expect to get real work. They're going to give you the shitty, crappy work. Um, they're going to toss you somewhere they don't want people to see. They don't want. They don't want to show you to the world. They're just gonna put you somewhere, and leave you there. The only way for you to step out is if you become a PE. Now you're probably thinking, oh, wow, if I get my professional engineering license, then I could show off. No, <laughs> no, nothing's gonna change. Um, nothing's gonna change if you're a PE. Uh, you're still gonna get a crappy work. Maybe maybe you'd be in charge of some idols or RFIs or something, but you're still gonna be, you're still gonna be in charge of, uh, you're still, you're, that's just gonna put you somewhere where they don't want you to see, they don't wanna see you. Um, yeah, um, I, I know I went on a rant here, there wasn't really a structure to this video, but um, being a black engineer is pretty tough. It's really, really hard. And um, one, one of the things that makes it hard is, in my opinion, this is the worst thing, is having to, having to find information. You don't have anyone to work with. So you need to know everything all by yourself. You need to do everything all by yourself sometimes, most of the time. You can't go out of the site to mess around and everything. But that's, that's, that move, that, kind of points out my second video or my this video I'm gonna um, talk about next tomorrow where um, successful people are typically the ones that do things all by themselves so one of the reasons why I feel like I'm gonna be successful is because because of not having any friends in construction or anything like that I, t I tend to rely only on my own intellect and all the books I read um, I'm reading a bunch of books right now, so I just scattered it all over the floor. But hey, man, tune into the next video. I know this was this was kind of a rant, so I kind of went overboard. But next time, I promise I'll be more structured. Um, stay tuned. Is all right. How do you?